Hello everyone, let's have some fun installing and running QBasic through Cool Retro Term. For those who are unaware, Quick Basic is a programmer's IDE from way back. It's one of the very first, and uh, we'll get it from this site, QBasic.net. It's totally free. They'll just go ahead and go to the download section. I'll scroll down the page just a bit, and we should see QBasic 4.5 English right there. And let's go ahead and download that. And let's go ahead and open up the folder for that. There's that folder. Let's get extract that here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this. And what I want to do is copy and paste this into my home folder here. The reason for that will become apparent in just a bit. And at this point, what I'm going to do is open up Cool Retro Term. Let's just go ahead and open it up here. There we go. There's cool retro term with a profile I'd like to use for it. One uh, thing really quickly, what we'll want to do is because uh, DOS, whoops, uh, back in the DOS days, the standard screen size was actually 80 columns. Whoops, there we go. 80 columns by 25 rows. And that's the perfect size for running quick basic. Otherwise, things will get skewed. And another quick step here, what we want to do is download or ensure you have installed the DOS EMU software. So in this case, uh, you can type in sudo apt get install DOS EMU, just like that. I've already got it installed here, so we don't need to install it, but It'll take just a moment to install for yourself. And once we've got that done, uh, let's see, where are we at? Uh, we're in our home folder here. Okay, so once that's done, um, you've got it installed. We can go ahead and run DOS emu. And I've, you can see this dash T I've added at the end here. That's a command line parameter that will send the output directly to this terminal that we're running here. Otherwise, DOS emu will open in a separate window. This is actually forcing it into the terminal that we've got here. So here we go in DOS emu. This is an emulated system. Let's go ahead and list the directory. You can see that there's a uh, auto exec file, config.sys file, for those who remember back in those days. And fortunately, DOS emu will mount our home directory to the D drive. So we can just go ahead and press uh, D colon, and that will take us to the D drive, and we can hit DIR there. And these, this is our home folder. You'll see that back in the DOS days, it wasn't able to handle um, the full file names the way that current systems are. So you've got some archaic names, but amidst all that, you can see this right here, QB45. That's the folder that we extracted from the file that we downloaded for QBasic. So let's go ahead and CD into that, CD QB45, DIR to uh, list the directory, and uh, we can see we've got QB.exe. That's the main program we want to run. Let's go ahead and run that. And there it is. Quick Basic, running through Cool Retro Term. And this is uh, full QBasic for those who remember. It works exactly the same way. And um, for example, you can actually hit alternate F and get to the menu right that way. And let's just go ahead and type in something real quick here. Let's go ahead and uh, clear the screen, CLS, uh, locate uh, 10 comma one colon print. Oops here, rotation, hello world. All right, there's a quick hello world program and you can press the F5 key to run it. That's it, hello world. And you can go ahead and play around with that. Uh, you can also change whatever the profile is that you're using through Cool Retro Term to make it look even more like the original computer than this does. And uh, at this point, let's just go ahead and exit out of here. We don't want to save the file, so I'll just type in no. And at any point, you can go ahead and exit DOS emu by typing in exit emu. And that takes you right back to your regular terminal. So that's it. We've just run QBasic through Cool Retro Term using DOS Emu. I hope that was fun. See you in another video.